Catch Me If You Can by Baby Metal is a song that undoubtedly on virtually any other artist's album would find itself becoming a single or a music video, which I don't believe it has either status for with Baby Metal. And I think that's primarily because of just how many songs they got out of this album that were absolutely mind-blowingly virally successful. But they can't really take away from the fact that this is quintessentially a brilliant song that has a lot of those qualities that we wanted from the Baby Metal um, formula when it first came out, but also in one of the most streamlined packages. See, the chorus is absolutely what we want. It's that catchy, heavy, rocking chorus where you can still bang your head along to it. It also begins with a sort of inversion of the millennial whoop sound at the beginning of it, with uh, Sue giving the sort of vocal power that actually makes it sound like a really good musical technique rather than something that maybe we've heard a little bit too much of. No, in Sue's voice, it actually sounds really good. And then she wraps it up as part of a very good, entertaining, catchy chorus. It is a brilliant chorus that should totally be on a single. But what makes up the rest of the song? Well, actually an extremely intense, charging, piece of thrashing metal that has all kinds of things going on. Now there is a lot of guitars, a lot of double kicks, but what you notice is here they're not just constantly drilling, they're coming and going. The double kicks, they get intense in the second verse, but they always come in a little bit, back off for a little bit. The beat doesn't slow down, you don't lose that intensity of the charge, but it's not trying to absolutely fill you 110% with sound all the time. There are little lifts off, and as one thing comes out, as the guitars maybe stop for a couple of beats, you get a little bit of a sort of intense synth sound come in there, almost giving it a sort of a charging EDM vibe. The sound's happening all the time and it really makes everything between the choruses this thick, intense charge of sound, but one at the same time that just has enough movement, enough layering in it, that it doesn't become tiring. As we always say, if a sound is going 110% all the time, it actually ends up losing its impact because there's no contrast. Here there's enough contrast, there's enough change, and really that's what makes up this song that charging bit that you just can't help but feel really, really, really energized by, and then a chorus that just makes you want to rock along and sing at the same time. And that's one of the reasons why this might be a song that we don't think of as being a big single or one of the bigger, more memorable songs from this album that has so much to remember it by, but it is nonetheless a song that you should definitely go back and check out again if you just want to rock out in a really good way.